Hi friends, this is Seher from Easy Beasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is a combination of two different words. The word cellular comes from cells and respiration comes from respiratory system. In humans, we take in oxygen and we pump out carbon dioxide. This oxygen through our circulatory system enters each and every cell of our body. Now inside our cell, it is going to degrade a compound called as glucose into carbon dioxide, water with lots and lots of energy. And this energy will be in the form of ATP molecule or adenosine triphosphate molecule. Now the question is that inside our cell, where does this glucose come from? The answer to this question is related to our digestive system. So we take in food as a chemical energy. This food by our digestive system is going to convert itself into glucose and this glucose will enter inside our cell with the release of chemical waste that will go out of the body in the form of urea, water and carbon dioxide. Now the times when we are sleeping and we don't feel the urge to eat or when we are fasting, in all those times we are not taking glucose by food. But our brain cells, our heart cells and our lungs are constantly working and they need a constant amount of energy. So, in order to solve this problem, ATP is generated by liver from the systems called as glycogenolysis or gluconeogenesis. These processes will be explained in a separate video. So, the summary of cellular respiration is that that glucose is going to get degraded itself into energy. This can be done with the help of oxygen and that type of respiration is called as aerobic respiration. This can be done without the help of oxygen and that type of respiration is called as anaerobic respiration. The first step of both aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration is common and that is glycolysis. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.